Okay, this how-to video is going to show you how to use the FPGA pin import and export functions from an or inside AUKAD Capture. So um, a lot of ma uh, device manufacturers will provide pin files that we can actually create a schematic symbol directly from. So we can select the design name in the project window and then go to tools and generate parts. So I can browse for a specific pin file. Mine's an Altera pin file. This is some of the default ones that are supported for by Cadence, so you can kind of pick which ones you want to go for. Um, you give the part a name, we specify a library, so let's just specify a library name. And I've then got a kind of options about whether I create a new part or update parts or pins or an existing part in the library. Um, if I look at the FPGA pin setup, this will talk about where the, the how where the pins are going to get placed, if I'm going to create a single section part, multi-section part, etc. Um, I've also got some pin defaults so I can modify where I want the inputs, bi-directional output pins, different sizes of the symbols, different types of pin types, etc. So you have full customization of how you want to generate your schematic symbol. Once you're happy with that, you click OK, and then it goes to generate the, the actual schematic symbol. You'll then recognize the, the parts are imported from the kind of import spreadsheet functionality if you're doing a, a new part from spreadsheet, and you can kind of see there's all my, my pins, all the different functions here. Um, to decide what I want to have. I can then save that and then that would then physically write my schematic symbol. So if we look at the outputs option, I've now got my library, there's my, my schematic symbol part. And there are all the different sections so I can see all the pin names and the pin numbers that have been brought in from that pin file. Let's just zoom in a bit. 